Hello, my name is Prue or Prue Larue, and today I'm feeling a bit guilty. It's been a little while. I'm not sure how long exactly. It's definitely been a long time since I filmed. But I thought I'm going to sit down and do what you had to get ready with me and tell you where I've been and apologize to you all. So I'm going to go in with my Strauss Fashion Force. I'm obsessed with this one. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a little bit of a tan since I've been away. I'm not used to not being pale. So when I rematch myself and I pick that light beige in the Astralis one, I'm just obsessed with this foundation. And I didn't have my brush. Need a mirror. I'm not used to this whole filming thing again. Anyway, so I got the tan from being in Bali. Uh, I'm not even sure if I told you guys I was going away. Usually before I go away, I like get my shit together, I film a whole heap, I edit it, I make sure you don't really miss me per se. I mean, obviously lately I probably haven't been the best at keeping like a uh, schedule. Though I've never really promised to keep a schedule um, I do usually try and get a couple videos up, but it was my mom's 60th birthday in September 27th, and she decided to organize a family holiday with everyone. So we, we all met up in Bali. Um, if you don't know, my sister and her partner live in Dubai. Me and my partner live in Brisbane. My parents live in Townsville. My sister-in-law, brother, and two kids live in Adelaide. So it's sort of rare that we're all together, especially to get my sister and her partner from Dubai because it's just so expensive and such a long trip for them. Usually if I do see her, like, it's because I've gone and visited her. And I will, I'm so disappointed. I was really hoping to film with her while we were away, but the time that we did, she ended up being sick. That, like, we could have had a chance to do it and to be honest, like I was just enjoying like not filming and not thinking about makeup. It was interesting for me because like we just had shoddy Wi-Fi. I couldn't watch as much YouTube as I usually do. Like I'm still behind in Annette's videos, like Annette's makeup corners videos from before I went away. And just a lot of videos. And I've just found it <laughs> It, it was interesting because I spend so much of my time consuming makeup content to take that away, like to take away Instagram, to take away everything and to just sort of be forced to see where I was at. So for me, this is like probably, I mean, I haven't, I haven't bought an eyeshadow palette in like two weeks, which is pretty amazing. While I was away, my Sophia Nygaard lipsticks from Colourpop came me through. So I'm just going to put Mrs. Norris on because I've been excited to try these out. Um, Colourpop, oh my god, I was so annoyed with them while I was away, because they, sp I ordered them at release, but they didn't deliver them for seven days, like, didn't post them, but, you know, I got a free lipstick, so, I guess I shouldn't be annoyed at them, but I am. Because really, it's just, like, one of the really shitty things, being Australian and living in Australia and being obsessed with makeup. And I just can't get the releases on time. And then because of my work, I can't get the videos out to you guys like as quickly as I'd like to. And I've been having some thoughts about how I consume makeup. When we think of the match, um, it looks... I'm like not used to not being powerless on camera. I don't know. I'll see, like, it looks fine in person, but... It just it's a different look for me I'm not I'm not accustomed to it um let's do some contouring because it's fun and I'm trying to use this sticker from KKW contour sticking map but one of the things so if you're Australian you know about this book and it's the barefoot investor uh, it's a book by a guy named Scott Pope Pape I don't know how to say his name but it's all about like 
for people and managing your money like when you have no idea I bought it a year ago and I never read it while we were away it was one of three books I took so it was the second book I read uh, the first book being Holly Madison's like down my name not down the rabbit hole but her second book which is terrible if you know who Holly Madison is um, don't judge me <laughs> um, anyway so I read Barefoot Investor and it just made me think about the way I've been consuming makeup a lot and like what am I getting from it and I also came across like a really interesting concept post or like thought that I was on Reddit I think most likely it's going to be makeup rehab the subreddit there and it was talking about how their hobby was buying makeup it wasn't using makeup and that realization and it sort of made me think about how many palettes I've bought with the intention of using them and I haven't um, and that's a lot I mean just looking here like I've got what is this? I've got the silver the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Garni collab palette I use it like once or twice I've got the sugar pill mini pro I've got the ABH Norvina 2 now I've got my two Kaleidos palettes. I have actually filmed a video with was it this one? The uh, Futurism Electro Turquoise and I accidentally deleted the footage of the looks. Uh, I didn't like the shimmer formula in this new palette so I'm curious to try it again and film some more and see what I think especially because people were saying that this shimmer formula is the new highlighter like it's similar or something but it just I don't know like so taking like this one here it just wasn't I don't know as pigmented as blended as easy to use as they have been previously the mattes are still amazing but to just compare I'm gonna go into Sarkat Green I think this one has oh, I think it's going to but I'm just swatching Glamour and then yeah you can see like just that difference in pigmentation I don't know I'm curious to play with it more and see what I think I've got like Art Deco palettes I've got like some drugstore that I was buying that I wanted to use I've never used my Jaw Striker mini palette uh, yeah and ultimately what I ended up realizing is that I'm buying makeup with the intention of sharing it with you guys and then I'm ne never actually filming it or never actually getting around to it has been what I've been doing and I've just been obsessed like addicted addicted to that chase and that is like where it's like a bit fun sometimes in Australia like you know I, as much as I complain about it but you know like getting up at 3 a.m. and buying like the beauty Beautylish Lucky Bag like I feel so accomplished <laughs> when I do that I'm buying like my Milk, Milk Cosmetics PR bag um I mean that was a bad decision <laughs> but like I just didn't need to buy it so sometimes getting up at 3 a.m. is like rewarding and sometimes it's just like it makes you make silly decisions so this is the Maybelline fit me powder and but it's that chase the chase of the makeup of figuring out when it's getting released so like what time is it gonna go up what time is it going up in Australia figure out what the shipping is if I think it's worthwhile do I want to pay for like quick shipping is that an option just stuff like that makes it like but then I'm not actually sitting down and using the makeup with you guys which is like the whole point is it no like ultimately I do love buying makeup even if I didn't have a channel I would still be buying makeup but it is like an easy cop out when you're a bit weak in your result like you know I'm like oh I don't need to buy my makeup oh no like oh this is really good like I'd be this would be so much fun to play with I'd love to show some my channel and the problem I'm finding is that I'm just not getting the videos up as quickly as I'd like to uh, mainly because I still work full time so it's just hard to fit in like a couple hours editing when you're trying to like live your life and all that sort of stuff 
So I've sat down and applied some of the barefoot investor principles. I think it's like a good book. It made me think differently about money, that's for sure. Which is always good because I think you can always reevaluate your experience with money and like how you think about it. And that's sort of what's made me like reevaluate how I'm approaching makeup and approach like the purchases I make. I've actually so far, like, and it's rare for me, I think Sephora Australia is on its second sale of like weird products, and I 100% would have bought stuff like two months ago in these sales. But I've checked out the palettes. I've looked at it and I've just like, and I've nearly been ready and then I haven't bought it, which is pretty like new for me. Cause usually I'd be like, oh, it's on special. Like that's such a great deal. I'm so excited to play with it, to give it a try. Let me do it. But this time I've stopped myself and go, well, like, why do you want it? And applying like that from ages ago, I posted a video of like the five questions to ask yourself before makeup, but really applying that. And not letting myself talk over it, which is like realistically what usually happens. I'm gonna go with my Laura Mercier uh, Candle Glow in a four. I'm not really sure how she labels this. I bought this because I finished the other gig of facilitating the nursing students and it was like my reward. Uh, and I chose a bronzer because it's the only product I don't have too much of. So. It's just made me think more about what I want to do and what I want to achieve and like what do I want to achieve in this life like do I want to just spend all my money on makeup and film videos like and yeah I get rewarded from like you like oh my god like I love you you're amazing from making friends and from meeting people and from like people who watch me and enjoy me but well, some of what happens to me as well is that I don't I mean I don't get anything from this um, except like uh, your narcissistic tendencies fulfilled because like I'm not a big enough channel to be monetized so I don't think I can claim my makeup on tax because I can't like unless you're making income can you claim yourself a performer because that would be fine if I could claim makeup on tax and at the same time, like I'm not committing myself well enough to YouTube and creating content for you guys. So I need to reestablish where I'm at. And I think I'm really intrigued to sort of sit down and play on my makeup a bit more and just do some videos on like old palettes and playing around with them and just see where that goes. Because at the moment I'm finding that I love creating content and I love buying makeup, but I just like I can't buy all of it and I need to save money I need to be a responsible adult I'm finding lately when I put this one on this is uh, cover effects Moavi more was it Moavi Moave and it just feels like a bit patchy that's why I was curious to try it again because ultimately like while I make a good living wage I and I can live comfortably with the amount of makeup I'm spelling. I'm probably not saving as much as I could be or should be uh, because I've got to start thinking about adult things like, um, you know, a wedding soon and like holidays and that long term, my like long term future. I need to start thinking about that. And like it would be amazing if I ever met reached a point where I could monetize this account but I don't think I will I just I don't know I'm not like you know like what what do I bring to the makeup world that's like you know and it's an honest question I don't need you to make me feel better about things because if you've been here like you've you've told me what you felt like you know you know I love you and I appreciate you and I, I love playing with makeup and this is my like chill time so, um, I realized that, like, I've sort of been buying stuff, like, so I haven't bought stuff, like, right lately, but I don't think I've actually shown you a haul. I did pick up the Be Perfect, Be Perfect Clientele Jar Makeup Artist Palette. 
So I'm going to play with that tonight because I'm a bit excited and it's very neutral. We'll see where it goes. And I, so yeah, so I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just being honest with you guys, is what I'm trying to say. And at the moment, I mean, I've been doing this for over a year now. I can't get the makeup quick enough to give you the content to be one of the first people to upload. I'm not overly creative. I've never been creative. All I've known since I was 18 years old is nursing and healthcare. Uh, that's been 12 years of my life. When I was in high school, I wanted to be an engineer. <laughs> so I haven't known being artistic uh, or having like freedom to do things. Cloudy. And that for me is what this channel is. It's giving me that chance to explore my soul and explore my creativity. But it comes down to the stress that I've felt from this channel has been too much for a non-monetary gig and something that I love. And the money that I've spent doing, playing with makeup and buying makeup and you, and buying some stuff and definitely being a lot more, a lot less thoughtful in my purchases than I should be. is just meaning that I'm not in the best fight like uh, I always feel, like I think talking about money is such a funny thing but I've made some impulse purchases which were like while I don't regret I could have put that money towards better things and like my one of the things like my sister was on about was like, well, pretty. you should put money aside every month to like get facials and to like get your hair done. And you know what, like she's right. Because those are the things that I'm always gonna look better if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm gonna feel better about myself if I don't have my greys showing and if my pimples are a bit more treated, I'm gonna feel better about that than buying makeup. So investing in myself long-term, is sort of where I'm going. I don't know why I chose the grey. And now I feel a bit like stuck. So let's go to Shady. I just love this palette. So Makeup by Jar is, I'll link her down below, but she is a Australian makeup artist. We've been following her for a while and she came out with this palette. And so one of the big things I've sort of, I have decided if I'm gonna waste my money, I might as well waste it on Australians when it comes to makeup. So the things that I am interested to buy so let's talk about like what has my eyes at the moment and like what I'm curious to buy the most. Cause maybe that would be interesting and like what I want to invest in solely because I like it. Uh, so one of the things that I really want to buy is the Melt Cosmetics, the new collection. Oh my God, those palettes look amazing. And spoiler, I love the Melt Radioactive palette. So yeah, I think I will probably pick both of those palettes up when they come out. I don't know if the release date's been up late yet. But I'm also going to like take myself out of the running when it comes to trying to get something quickly. So I don't think, to me, I don't think I'm going to wake up at 3 a.m. to buy those palettes if they are sold out by the time I wake up. Because usually 10 a.m. PST is 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Well, like, no. <laughs> is 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for me. So I don't think I'm going to like wake up for them and if I miss them, so be it, it happens. I'm still using Shady. And then I think I might buy the Shannon Zoe palette, but I'm not sold on it. Like it's not, I don't know, like it's not that much different I think from her other palette, which is where actually. So I have her old BH Cosmetics collab with the browns. Oh, it's quite different. I need to play this. So I definitely thought of buying that palette it's on my radar. And it releases 10 a.m. Australian Standard Time. Like, I don't know. But it would, it would be 
daytime for me when it releases, which would be nice. Um, and I don't watch her as much as I did, but I used to love watching Shannon so when I first started getting into YouTube. And then I was also thinking of picking up the Tana Hennessy palette. She's like an Australian comedian that does like a lot of skits and stuff. And people like love, love her. Oh my god. But she is releasing the... What is it? The bread palette? Um, carbs palette. I'm just going to put a little bit more of that grey. But like, um... Loads of carbs or something, but it's a bread themed palette with models prefer in Price Wine Australia. And I thought that would just be interesting to maybe go check out. Going back in with a shady. And it's nice, I think, to support these Australians because I would love to see more Australian YouTubers releasing stuff and creating stuff, and I'm happy to support that. I think. I think I want to swatch the tan the. Tanya palette first because like she's just not I don't know I watched her reveal video on it I'll link it down below and like it just looked a bit shit it's like the best way I can say it I'm gonna go in with a minx which is this purple so I'm curious to see it in person and decide from there and swatch it for sure before I like even buy it. So the Shanex O palette, the Melt Cosmetics palettes, and then um, the number one palette that I feel like, I don't know, and I have mixed feelings about it, but it's the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star Conspiracy palette. So as an Australian, the last time me and my friend Cher Jonathan, who's on I'll link it down below. She's on the YouTubes. We bought the Jawbreaker collection. I remember being awake. Did I get up for it? I don't know. We were both up for some reason. And messaging each other and so excited we to get it. We bought it from Beautylish. And I got my order in like so early. Like I think it like maybe was it ten minutes before Cher or something? It was early. And they sent mine after and Cher got hers. In a couple days and it took mine like a week and a half or something and they go glow up and it just kind of annoyed me because beautylish had said on the thing that it was express shipping but waiting a week is not express shipping so when i actually got the palette i was so disappointed because i wanted to like join the hype train like and i wanted to experience that Trying to get a video up really quickly, like, I don't know. That hype would have been cool. And so it, but it just, like, left me feeling a bit defeated because there was nothing I could do. I remember messaging Beautylish and they were like, it'll send when it sends. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just didn't, like, it was the first time I've ever had an experience with Beautylish that I wasn't, like, super stoked with their response and I'm, I'm sure I'm overreacting and that like it just it, it is that makeup has become more to me than it should so I thought it would be fun I actually bought the Lush Venus liquid liner a while ago I've tried it it was quite fun I thought it would be fun to just pull out some of the products that I have been wanting to like film with so I'm sure that the Lush like the experience of Beauty Lush was more just like me being super excited for something and then like when it wasn't express shipping just being disappointed and then because you haven't paid for shipping and then you know when you're having issues with customer service you are at the mercy of whoever replies to your email so it was just a bit disappointing I've heard that you can get Jeffree Star from Princess Polly and is that like a black swallow one or something I don't know, but ultimately, like, I've been watching the whole series and I've been enjoying it. It's been interesting, but I don't think I like the palette. And I feel bad saying that because I know there's so much hype and I don't know. I think 
I'm happy to just write it out and not buy this one and see what you all think. Um, I do love the idea of the pig containers for the lip, con like lip ones, but I probably would personally just rather buy merch from Shane Dawson than eyeshadows. I just don't really get it. Like, I know he, like, there's a lot of him doing his glow ups and, oh my god, he did the makeup so well on the bear. But the palette that he came up with? I'm, yeah. I don't know. It's just like, it, it does, like, it's a really cool packaging. But the colours inside and the mini conspiracy, like the two blues, I just, I don't really like it. Um, I don't need another gloss, like the Shane gloss, and I don't really care. And. The lip colours, I mean, I haven't really seen anything that was, like, super amazing or interesting. Which I know, like, I feel like I'm in the minority with that thought. So this, look, <laughs> could you see the stop? I think I might have to bring you in. So this shit transfers before it dries, which is a bit annoying. Um, but I think I just, I probably still feel like a little bit burnt from the Jawbreaker collection launch. I don't really want to pay the shipping fees from Jeffree Star and I don't want to get up at 3am. I'm just not feeling it for that. It just doesn't feel that like that super worthwhile to me. And I feel like I'm in the minority with that. I don't know. I don't know what to do with this one. Let's just hope it blends away. <gasps> I forgot I'd swatched another shade. Silly, silly. I wasn't sure if it was a shimmer or not. I wanted to know. Oh, well, it's easily fixed. Yeah, I don't know. The more I stare at the palette, the more I, like, just don't really get it. And I just, when it comes down to it, like, I have so many shades and finishes. I think, like, I think that one of the duochromes looks, like, a little bit unique, but just the stress that I find in waking up to try and buy that stuff so early is not worth it. So I got like a little bit wrong on this side. Let's just make these wings huge, why not? But when I think about like the looks I could create with it, I just don't see it. I'm a bit disappointed that like, I mean, I, I know we've seen the photo shoot looks, but I would have loved to have seen like some makeup looks. Oh, I don't know. Like, you know, him actually creating looks with his palette. Um, because I just, I don't think it's the most cohesive thing I've ever seen. Um, and it does kind of like, in a way, <laughs> annoy me. Watching someone going like, oh my god, like, well when we made this decision, I didn't know as much as I did about makeup as I do now. And I was like, well, why didn't you educate yourself? <sighs> like, why didn't you... <laughs> You know, like, you knew you were filming this thing. You should have put some effort into it. Because, like, some of the big changes that they've made have been so last minute because he has learnt more about makeup in that time. Um, I don't know. I'm... I, I I'll happily watch everyone's videos who does buy it and see how it goes. Because uh, it looks like you can make some really nice wearable looks from it. I think I'll be curious because I'm pretty sure and um... Alright, well this is dried and set. I'm pretty much fucked. Uh, I'm just going to give up. I can't fix it. I can, however, zoom out. And then you can't really tell. So, 
So far, I find this product a little bit annoying to work with. Okay. It's just like a bit gloopy, so you can't like have consistent application throughout. Oh, I haven't used them. Um, I'm going to go in with my Kylie bronze liner in Chameleon. Anyway, that's like mostly how I feel about the whole Jeffree Star launch. Um, also, it just like, I mean, while I'm complaining, let's just keep adding it. It kind of really annoys me that Rich Lux is in it. Like, he, he's like a drama channel who does like, I mean, like, okay content. I know a lot of people love the clock at their house and he's got his Durand Cosmetics collab that he's now done but like do you aspire to wear the makeup that Rich Lux wears? Um, it just makes me sad because I know that there's so many talented people who would love to sit down with Shane Dawson and talk makeup with him. Even some of the people that he showed in his videos because obviously he's watched their stuff like how nice would it be to see some like of those beauty gurus in the in his videos like that he's hanging out with them and learning like how it works but I guess like I mean if you think about it like obviously he's probably a bit put off from Morgan's experience but he's such a powerhouse right, I think I'm just gonna throw this out because like I can't sharpen it for the life of me and I've ruined it and it's bronze, so I don't really care Let's go in with Colourpop's Gold Digger. Well, Dirty Talk. Sorry. I'll lie. Yeah. Like, I get it. They must, like... I don't have anything personally against Rich Lux. I just wish that we were seeing... him hang out with beauty gurus. Instead of... drama channels? I don't know, I just don't really... Yeah, I just would have really liked to have seen him actually, like, instead of inserting clips of beauty, tuber, beauty YouTubers, invite them over and, like, hang out with them and get to know their thoughts about makeup and talk makeup with them. Because he's always, like, doing makeup on people who don't know how to do makeup. And... It would just be nice to see, you know, like, and there are nice people out there. There's lovely people out there who would happily hang out with him for a day and take him shopping or talk to him about makeup or... And it just would have been cool to see that because what it has been hasn't been what I thought this whole thing was going to be. Like, I honestly thought this was going to be about the drama getting like the whole video but it's been about him getting into makeup and selling this palette and it's like but there's not enough like makeup in it for me and you know like i think it even showed like i mean i don't like revealing myself as like someone watch stuff but you know like when he shows jeffrey like the Too faced gold palette and it's like it shows he didn't even watch jeffrey style like full face of brands that hate me video which is like a huge video and I don't know it's just confusing to me like why like why use drama channels and not beauty people and I would just like to have seen more makeup if it's not going to be about the drama and then like the money suit that he wore in the video oh let me try this I let my friend my Ofra those donut highlighter and she said it was like a white sheen on her which I've never noticed on myself. So I'm curious to try it again. I thought it was an interesting choice that he wore like the money suit in the promo pictures because it just made it so much more about money and not the makeup. And yeah, so that's why I'm not gonna buy it. I'm sorry, I talked about that for way longer than I planned to. Oh wow. Okay. It's like Tin Man little. And I don't know, like it would have been fun to see. Sorry, I can complain about this. I can play about the series a little more than I thought. Let me know if you'd like to see a video about me complaining more about it. Interesting. Not too bad. I think I'm about done. 
Yeah. So, I don't know. That's why I'm not gonna buy it because it just feels like a huge cash grab, cash grab, and I don't, I don't really like the colors in it. I'm super excited to see the videos that are coming out with it. I'll be super pumped to see if Annette does ten looks one one palette with it because that might push me over the fence buying it. But I think, yeah, I think like even watching like Annette do the Natasha Denona's Metropolis palette. Maybe I'll just buy myself that. She made that look bomb and I've seen it in person and it looks bomb. And that palette, like, that palette excites me. So, what do you think? <laughs> Those are my thoughts. And I also just want to thank everyone who's still here. I'm so sorry for disappearing on y'all. Um, I was still sort of a semi-active on Instagram. I'm the worst though. I don't know, like, I'm just... I got to really enjoying being completely disconnected from my makeup and Instagram and everything and it gave me like some really good perspective on a lot of things as hopefully you can see so we are gonna just like see a little me playing around with my stuff in my collection coming up which I'm super excited for actually there's a few palettes that I really want to spend some more time with and I'm happy to sort of take myself out of the rat race and like buying palettes as soon as they can and then like having to wait two three weeks for them to arrive just makes me sad um but do let me know if there's something that you would really like to see me play with makeup wise uh should I buy the Shamexo palette that's coming up a heap of sweets should I buy the Melt Cosmetics collection because that does look bomb uh or should I just buy a Natasha Denona's Metropolis I don't know I'd love to know what y'all think and um, I hope you forgive me for stepping away for a little bit but I'm excited for what's to come and yeah I'm just I'm pumped I'm intrigued I'm excited for what's to come for my channel and where this little venture is gonna lead us while I'm talking I'm just looking at the door right here let's just be plants with this palette Oh, I love this color story. This is a color story that I can get behind. I don't know. Let me know what you think of all my thoughts, even if you disagree. I'm always curious to know what other people are thinking. And, you know, like, even if you're thinking the same thing as me, because I feel like a bit alone in some of my thoughts on those things. And, yeah, I am sincerely apologetic that I disappeared. Um, thank you for being here. It does mean the world to me. And I hope you stick around. Uh, no? <laughs>